for some reason, they've really made the brakes super short. And the thing is, you still have to do your handprint every time you go in and out of the computer room. So that eats into your break time as well. Hey, this is Avi Gutman with another Ask Me Anything event brought to you by quantreasoning.com. I invite you to join me live next time. We do this every Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern, and you can attend for free by starting your free trial at quantreasoning.com. So number one, get there early. And when you do get there, uh, don't rush to go into the computer room. They might say to you, oh, do you want to start right now? Because we have a computer available. And you'll say, uh, no, I'll, you know, you don't tell me when to go in. I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you when I'm ready. Right? You be in charge. You be the boss. Uh, and you tell them when you want to go in. And just sit in the waiting room, which is also the room you'll be uh, in for your breaks. So, so sit in that waiting room. Uh, look around. Uh, and then try to meditate a little bit, like close your eyes, lean back in the chair and take some really deep belly breaths into your belly, which is really effective in lowering your heart rate. Uh, and then go use the washroom there. Uh, what do you call it in the US? The, the restroom. Use the restroom, partially because you have to pee before you start and also partially so you'll know where the washroom is. And so that's tip number one. Tip number two, as Deepanjan said, very, very important to have snacks before and during each break. It's, I, I can't emphasize enough how important that is. Like I've seen it make a difference of more than 100 points for people on the GMAT. So really important to have snacks. Tip number three is uh, beware that the breaks are really short. They're, really sh they're shorter than you think. And I've heard from a lot of people that uh, by the time they got back into the computer, they realized that the timer had already started counting down for the next section. And then from there, it went downhill because they, you know, they felt so guilty for getting back late. And, and then they were, were panicking and it all went to shit. So uh, beware that the break is shorter than you think, which means don't waste any time. Like go out of that computer room, take the snack with you on your way to the restroom and start, you know, chewing. Like if you can chew while you pee, that's that would be ideal. I know it's a bit gross, but for for some reason they've really made the breaks super short. And the thing is, you still have to do your handprint every time you go in and out of the computer room. So that eats into your break time as well. Right? You, when they let you out, they take your handprint, and sometimes it doesn't work in the first try, so you have to do it again. And then when you come back in to the computer room, they're going to do that again. And if you wear glasses, they're also going to have to check your glasses again. And they'll ask you to empty your pockets again. And like, you know, the whole process, every time you come back from the break. So that all eats into the break time. So be aware of that and, and uh, don't be late coming back. The fourth tip, when you get the instructions at the beginning of each section, there's like 60 seconds of instructions. Use those 60 seconds to do more of that deep belly breathing that I was describing earlier, again, to put you in the best mindset for reading the question very slowly and digesting and thinking deeply about what you're reading before you start solving. So those deep breaths are really useful. And I would utilize the 60 seconds of instructions time for that, um, because the other option is to just skip the instructions but that seems like a wasted opportunity to, to relax and meditate a bit. So those are the tips. And, and then finally, I would just remind you, do your best to not have uh, unproductive thoughts during the test. So what are some unproductive thoughts? Oh, I wonder if this question is easy or hard. If it's easy, that means I got the previous one wrong. And if it's hard, it means I got the previous one right. And I, hmm, this looks pretty easy. So does that mean I got the previous one wrong? Oh no, what does that mean for my test? Am I not going to do well? Oh, what am I going to do tonight when everybody asks me how I did? So these are all unproductive thoughts that are, you know, what you should be thinking about is the question in front of you on the screen. Don't think about the previous question. Don't think about the next question. Don't think about which business school you're going to end up going to. Just focus on the question in front of you. And that's also where the breathing, I think, really helps because it helps you focus on the present moment and what's in front of you. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. 
And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.